Hey, everybody. Welcome. This is... Uh, 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 Super Knight Riders. This is the bonus episode for... <laughs> for the Light Fairy Tale Episode 2 run, because our last episode ended very quickly. There was not enough footage for today, for the Tuesday's episode. So I thought this would be a nice bonus thing, because Super Knight Riders is also a game made by Neko.Works. So I thought that's a great choice for do something here for a little extra episode, is look at what else this, uh, this French little indie group with, of, I think, just one person has worked on, apart from Light Fairy Tale, their, like, big sales thing. This is apparently a very arcadey game, so normally I wouldn't really, like, do, uh, do a uh, play playthrough on something like this, um, because I don't really know if there really is, like, what kind of, like, what kind of, like, you know, campaign or anything is here anyway, uh, for such a simple game. But for a little bonus thing, I think it's a great little... Great little, like, uh, look-see to have. So... Super classic easy mode. Try the super course? There's a lot of courses. What happens if I take classic? Very interesting. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm feeling super. Oh, cool. You can pick your music. Damn, this is some good jams. I like this a lot. This has, um... This has some, like, uh... Thunder Force 4 energy. This music right here. This one's cool too, got a groovy thing going. This is the main theme apparently. I don't know, I'm not feeling this one. Nice. The rock and roll is great. But let's get some like synth wave going as well, that's cool. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Good, good kind of Mega man -y vibe on this one. That slap bass. This one's too. Got some serious Mega Man or maybe some like Sega energy. Let's go with that first song. It sounds rad. Let's go. Get ready. Steer, accelerate, brake, menu, music. You can just change music in the middle. That's kind of cool. Okay. So. I don't know if you can guess what this kind of looks like. I think my Sega references were apt. Ooh, that was close. It's... It's it's Outrun, basically. Outrun, but with motorcycles, yeah. So it's not these people who are really worried about too much is trying to race this clock. Oh my goodness, that was cutting it short. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not very good at Outrun. I have a friend who loves Outrun, but I don't personally really understand how you ever, like, manage to beat the clock any further than, like, the first couple of checkpoints in Outrun. Maybe we'll learn today. Oh, shit. Well, one thing is not to get hit these guys and lose seconds. So I think I just blew it. Oh, jeez. This is, like, this is really narrow, this track here. And... Yeah, okay. Gosh. Let's give that another go. Let's go with this theme song this time, and let's Accelerate. Course one. I'm gonna give this another go if I can dodge these. Uh... Well, that's not good. Freaking beginning of the race, and I already hit a person. Okay. Guess I gotta use my brake occasionally to avoid some of these collisions. Maybe I don't know. I don't really. I don't seem to be, like, cut out. Okay, I was a little slower because I bumped that guy, but alright. I don't seem to be, like, you know, flying off the course very easily here. Ooh, wow! Scrape that racer. Ooh, oh my goodness. That was scary. 
Oh, she, I, I see I, I, that pattern of those two guys there. I was afraid that would happen. Oh, God. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Look at how close I got. This is, um, hmm. I didn't like this song. Let's go. Let's go Cynthia for a bit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, damn it. I should have braked. Okay, maybe you guys can see why I'm not very good at outrun here. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. We got this, we got this. Ooh, Jesus. But yeah, they... Things immediately ramp up once you enter the desert, boink. Like, the... It feels like the road is narrower, but apart from that, these other racers... ...are just... Ugh, ...all over the place. Look at this pattern here of racers. Trying to, like, thread the needle there. There we go. Those seconds are running. Oh my god! Ah, oh, I didn't even get to the checkpoint this time. Let's swap into this one. Man, I, I gotta at least get past the desert, and that means somehow getting good enough to avoid the... Like... Ah, oh, the pattern of... Racers. No, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna hit restart on that one. Two bumps against that person. For all I know, I'm not even gonna make it to the first checkpoint after that embarrassment. Ah oh, man, these corners trying to like dodge a person. These uh, corners in the road. Ooh, tricky. Ooh, this one. This is a really cool song. I'll dig it. This could be a level in Mega Man. Like some some real well feeling of high speed like this level we're playing right now. I don't know some kind of biker man I guess. Oh okay. Oh ooh, ooh. Or I said Thunder Force. This one's got that energy as well. Ah. The ones we know are those like rock and roll songs are the most like memorable from Thunder Force. But like there we go. We made it. Into the city. Beautiful. Oi. Strange world we're driving in, where the forest just turns into a desert, and then we're in the big city. There we go. Whoop. Hit that brake. Nice! Canyon time! But this is just a desert. Oh, Jesus, no. That's unfortunate. Oh, ooh! Ooh, Jesus. That guy right there. Yeah, I think I bumped into that person, so are we gonna make it? Like, I've, I've been doing a really good run so far, so are we gonna make it to the checkpoint? Rarely, but I can't afford other bumps, I don't think. We're racing this uh, snow-covered valley, I guess? Oh, jeez. Let's go over here. Ooh! No! I really did try to, like, break... ...to, like, pass that person. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Jesus! Oh, what an unfortunate moment. Okay, um... So if I can... Meloman achievement? I listen to all the songs, I guess? I don't know. So if I can, like... Like, get past the uh, desert, I think I can beat this first course. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Losing speed on the... On the... Uh, Off-road there. Ooh, what a jam of a song once again. Kind of want to maybe almost buy the soundtrack for this one. I wasn't that crazy for the uh, Light Fairy Tales soundtrack. It, it has a couple of great songs in it, don't get me wrong, but like, I 
don't know about buying the soundtrack, but uh, Super Night Riders is getting exactly the kind of retro music fix I wanted. Damn it, I really I misjudged that. This that's unfortunate. Oh we Oh no. Wow, this this desert is rough. How did I ever manage the other like other two? I don't know. Alright, well, let's go again with this freaking freaking uh Dojinshi band music. It's kind of the energy this has. Ooh. Ooh, oi, oi. Ooh. You know, we saw for a brief second what the final stage was. It had like this kind of Japan vibe to it. We saw some Tori gates there. I kind of want to at least get to that. If I can't beat it, then whatever, but like. I'd like to at least drive around in that milieu. But, uh, gotta up my driver dodge game. That's the real challenge here, really, is... Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh, oh, yeah, made it. Hang on and pass. Okay. Super Hang On. That's a game, too. Isn't that a bike game, Super Hang On? I think that's a reference. Anyway, here we are... Wow! Here we are back in the big city. Mon dieu. It is a beautiful... Oh, made it in the canyon! Oh, gonna drive from the inside there. No, sorry, the outside actually, I think that was... Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oy, oy, oy. Pass on that inside curve. Risky plays, but sometimes you gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the valley. All right. Now this is where I screwed up. Ah! This is where I screwed up last time. I'm keep misjudging on these turns if I'm like dodging the other biker. Ah! The oh no, I braked way too much because I saw that person coming up. I, I actually that may have been detrimental how much speed I lost there. Oh, no, come on, come on, come on! Barely! We're in Hanami! Oh, cool! It's spring in Japan! Ooh. That was another close shave. Ugh. Oh god, five seconds. I've dodged everybody, but I'm so slow. It's Molasa. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! That stings. That stings. But I want to have one more go after. Huh? This is some real. This is some real uh, now outrun energy, right? They're like, that kind of like, just one more go, man. I barely made it. So, so I lost too much speed in the valley. Remember when I, like, uh, braked way too hard in the valley? I think that's what just cost me from getting the win there. If I had simply, like, kept my speed, but then I probably would have bumped into a, another driver. I would have probably... I would have probably won that time. Well, you know, made it to the finale, but made it to the final checkpoint, and got him the glory. Oh, ooh, wow. I was unsure about that one. Uh, oh, oh, jeez. I uh, lost speed when I hit the sand. Okay, but three second, uh, two seconds when I came into that checkpoint is, I'm gonna say that's actually pretty good in the desert part of this race. Whee. No, it really, again, it, it, it's so hard to tell in these bends. That probably just cost me the race. I might make it to Hanami, but, like, it's so, like, knife's edge in this race. Uh, oh, 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 three seconds in the canyon. Not bad. Oh, wow. Oh, my God.
Oh, oh, once again. Oh. Bends. Give me the bends. <laughs> See, there's some actual, like, rumble effects on the controller if you, like, pass a guy or, like, you're, like, doing a turn. That's kind of cool. No! Bloody hell! Okay, okay. I see you. Alright, we made it to Hanami with like two seconds on the clock. Is it enough? I don't freaking know, but let's go, everybody! Including all you other racers. Damn it, these freaking cherry trees! They're beautiful, but they're getting in my face. I, I can't see where I'm driving. Oh my god. Give me the checkpoint already. We got five seconds on the clock. There it is. Come on, come on, come on. Finish. Woo. Okay, sick. Well, let's take a quick breather. We're like halfway done with episode time here if I'm going for a half hour. Oh, yeah. So. <clears throat> I'm happy that this game is more involved than Super Knight Riders was in uh, Light Fairy Tale. If you recall, there was a mini game, racing game, inside Light Fairy Tale, which wasn't exactly like this. It was much simpler graphics. I guess I think it had the same. I don't remember exactly, but I think you were just like again racing the clock. But in that one, you were just trying to like catch like extra time, like blips while avoiding like hitting bends so kind of the same thing but also it was it was purposefully much more primitive because it was like it looked like the uh, virtual boy just like red and black and in hindsight it makes sense like you know if this is supposed to be a standalone game you kind of want it to be better than just a mini game in a whole different game you know like otherwise you just buy a light fairy tale and you get two games for the price of one Although in a lot of JRPGs, those mini games they come up for them are like freaking deep enough to warrant, <laughs> like they could be their own game, but like for some reason they went crazy and made it, made it like an amazing like, amazing like uh, other game inside the game, like freaking Gwent. Don't even have to talk about JRPGs. Freaking Gwent was so involved that they made a separate standalone game for Gwent. From, from Witcher. <laughs> so, what is different between Classic and Super? I'm gonna race... We're, we're gonna look at the stage course 2, but I wanna quickly do Classic... Oh, it's just the graphics, isn't it? Right, I see. I see, there's two different graphical modes, and this one's if you wanna be extra polygonal. Alright, well, let's... uh. Let's do the course two then, in that case, with classic mode for hexes. Interesting, you can pick stage? That's curious. So apparently it's the same six stages for every... Oh no, wait, hold on, no, let's go to the... This one I'm not feeling, but this one. Yeah, it's... Too bad that that's the main song. Like, that one doesn't really fill me with joy. Oh, they just remixed the order of the levels, huh? So now we're start with the desert. Okay. And now we're all super polygonal if you want to get that, like, 90s reboot fantasy going here. Kind of cute. I, I can't hate on it. It is a little confusing that it's marked as, like, it's like own game mode rather than just being a like a graphical choice but nah so it goes i got bumped again there we go that was a nice long straight that one felt good oh no you don't all right still good we made it through two areas 
are in the canyon. But we did... It's the second bump now, so I think we lost this. Oh my god, okay, this was... A, this is a wash of a round, but let's drive it to the finish anyway, see where we get. Oh wow, what a plot. Because I was trying to pass this guy on this narrow like side here, and I just got like... Bushed from that. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Let's go! Come on. What? Yeah. It is quite satisfying, though. Like, that, that one more try feeling absolutely was there in, uh, in, 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 in that first stage that I played. Gosh darn. Like, uh, you know, I, I had no problem just being like, no, but I gotta keep trying because I got so close. No, I got even closer this time. I gotta, I gotta give it a go, you guys. Ugh. Like here, I'm just like, no, 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 back in the fray, back in the fray. We can have another. We can have another, like, go at that nonsense. Um, yeah, uh, I, that's pretty important for an arcade game like this, which, you know, is just like supposed to be like a nice gameplay. Addictive gameplay, you know, challenge is that it definitely has the vibe of like it doesn't want to make you give up, just want to keep you trying again and again. Much like Outrun, my my, my friend that I mentioned, we went to the uh, game museum in Tampere uh, a couple of summers ago, where they have an old Outrun cabinet that used to be at an amusement park a long, long time ago, but that amusement park had to get rid of its. Uh, like game cabinets which is such a tragedy but that's the first thing to go when the park needs space for something else um so yeah it was it, it found a loving home in the uh in the 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 uh video game museum and my friend boy did he spend a long time just jamming partly for nostalgia reasons and partly just because outrun is a fantastic racing game from back in the day Ooh, that was close Sweat pouring off my forehead at that one. Nice long straight to get to the valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, this is again. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. We're doing it, we're doing it. Oh my god. I gotta. Sorry, I, I don't have. Can't comment too much. My like, focus is really. Here. Yeah, I. Really recommend if you are in Finland. I would recommend you visit uh, the game museum in Tampere if you happen to be able to go there. It's uh, really a, there's some really interesting like video game history, in particular Finnish video game history. They have like examples of like tons of games that were made in Finland, stuff that I don't even didn't even know about, like, like from the Commodore days. When first, like, video game development started here. And, of course, other stuff as well. Interesting, like, you know, finds from abroad and everything. It, it's really fascinating if you're interested in this uh, field. And what I thought was really funny, they have a... Well, first of all, they have, like, replicas of households from, like, certain years. So, not just the video games, but they've been, like, um fitted with, like, furniture of that era that that console would have been around. Hey! Course 2 cleared! Feels good! Well, I guess for review purposes, we should um, also try out easy mode. Just, you know, see what makes it so easy. Oh, you, you, oh, you turn on easy mode. I see. Okay, well, we'll turn that on and go back to super and give, like... Um... Let's, I don't know, let's try that la Oh, what? Oh, interesting. So you can only race... You can only race in easy mode. Like, you don't have progression from... Well, that's fine. I want to see how Course 1 is different on easy mode. So, yeah. But yeah, apart from those funny, like, households of the day things in that museum... Uh, they have a replica, quote-unquote, replica video game store you can go look at. So it's just a, you know, 
it, it's supposed to look like what a video game store from like the 90s looks like so I mean there aren't a I don't think there's a ton of video game stores around anymore. I do know that, like, GameStop had to close in Finland, so there's, like, no GameStops anymore. But, you know, back in the day, it would be just the video games. There wouldn't be all that peripheral t-shirts and, like, Funko Pops and everything. It's just the video games, which came in huge boxes of in that day. At least PC games did. So... Yeah, it's a blast from the past, and you can go stand out, because it's not a real store, it's just a replica of what that's supposed to feel like. You can go stand where the cashier is, you can feel like you are a video game salesperson, which I think isn't that crazy, I think a lot of people have actually done that as a job in their lives, you know. And, and, you know, when had to do like, uh... Had to do like, uh, odd jobs early in their careers, I think a lot of people have worked in video game stores, at least the kind of people who hang out watching Let's Plays. I don't know. Haven't done it myself, so cannot comment. Alright. Easy time with Course 1. Let's do this one, and then we're gonna call it for today, and talk about our experiences. But I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed this game today, so I would... I might be tempted on my own time to, like, clear the the last two stages, or sorry, the last four stages, courses. Even though I know it's clear now they're just gonna be like these same levels again and again, but a different layout of course, but like visually they're gonna be the same. Well, not entirely, like that Hanami level had, had like uh, a lovely like snow going on and everything. Because I guess because the game's called Night Rider, right? So the idea is that you start in the afternoon and you drive all through night and then you hit the finish line at morning. So it looks like the levels, since they're in different orders, you'll have like different lighting and different mood. Oops. Oh god, I destroyed that person. I'm sorry. Yeah, you'll have like different mood as um, you drive through these areas at different times of the day. Like at some point, I guess you'll hit the city in the morning and that's going to have a different vibe. But I think uh, once I beat this, we'll have a really quick look at that, and I'll, I guess I'll have my review once we're done with that, but... Uh, okay, so easy mode, you have much more time on the clock, and you don't suffer as much slowdown from bumping another driver, and they apparently incinerate into atoms from your collision, so... Yeah, this is, uh... This is much easier. This one is like... I guess you want to practice how to run this, or you just want to enjoy the thrill of uh, jamming this song and driving around. Whoa! Sorry, mate. Now, I don't know if I read correctly, but I think Neko.Works might have been working on a new Knight Riders as well, if I read that. Did I get that right? If so, hey, well, yeah. This game, but with, like, more content in terms of, I don't know, like, costumes, more involved level design, I don't know, like, branching pathways. Doesn't Outrun have, like, branching paths? Or am I just imagining? I, I don't know. In any case, yeah. Yeah, this is something worth developing, I think. Oh, yeah, and of course, more jamming soundtracks. This is, like, such a good soundtrack. It's nuts. Ooh, yeah, Hanami time! Oh, it is snowing here, even in the morning. Okay, it was just that mood lighting of, like, being like, early wee hours of the morning that, like, made it look like I made me pay attention to the snow, but there you go. Aye, sorry. Sorry, you atomized racer, you. Oh, yeah, freaking easy mode is like, yeah. Easy peasy. Beans and squeezy. Let's put that back off. Let's go. Course 3, and I guess it's review time. Well, I, I mean, I've already kind of given my thoughts here pretty well, haven't I? But, um... Uh, yeah, I think this game's cool, and for the asking price of, I think, like, 4 euros... Yeah, I think it's fine. Hey, look, we're here in the morning in the city, like I said. Look at this, it's all nice, the weather here. And shiny. Yay. So yeah, I, I, it's it, it's a fine outrun clone. I'm sure there are probably more of these on Steam and elsewhere, and probably with uh, 
more feature rich as well. I have a sneaking suspicion, dang. But um, as a as an indie project with an asking price of like five euros, it's fine, absolutely, it's great. Um, the gameplay, it's outrun. Uh, it's it's not racing against these players or these other racers so much as it is racing against the clock. Trying to get this perfect, like, learning to dodge the other racers is the true challenge here. And, it, it, and it's it's the classic arcade thing of, like, this is an incredibly simple, simple mechanic, but it's, like, really addictive to do, and, like, um, really something that you want to just keep doing again and again to try and, like, get past the little hurdle you're trying to beat. Wham! Gave me some points, hurrah. So, um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I, I, I give it, I give this a, as, a, as an outrun clone, I give this big passing points, or a, or a hang on clone. If I remember correctly, that hang on was the, 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 the motorcycle racing game. Uh, 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 I might be wrong on that, so. <laughs> I just suddenly had this memory of like, wasn't there a game like that? Because that one Achievo was uh, referencing it, so yeah. Uh, graphically... Oh, story, right, well, I mean, there actually is kind of a story. You have like a little paragraph in the like, uh, Steam page about what the premise is, but the story is basically, you are the best freaking nighttime racer in the world and you're awesome and you're gonna race from dusk till dawn. Sick. Ugh, nighttime Hanami, by the way, look at this, this is really nice. Um, so, but yeah, okay, story isn't really the thing here, it, sure, whatever. Great, great story. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, I guess I should say about gameplay. I guess ultimately, of course, there isn't a ton of content here. Six courses with uh, these same level designs. Obviously, this is just like a kind of a, like a, you know, a zen game in a way. If you just want to like zen out and avoid these other racers. I feel like I feel like that's what the, the selling point here is. Um, but yeah, let's finally talk about graphics. I mean, it's pretty primitive looking, obviously. There isn't a ton of design in those levels to the side. The racer is fine, but like it, it, it's very <laughs> motorcycle mini game from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> let's talk about Final Fantasy VII again. Hey, I beat a course while doing a review. That's funny. Sick. Uh, hold on. Mm. Yeah, let's go this one again. But, um... I mean, the details are nice. Like, the, the areas have character. The valley is a little sparse, I think. Works wanted to make a, like, snow level, but, like, there just isn't enough like detail there to make it like clearly be like a wintry snow level rather than just like a barren void so uh, yeah here we go here we are the valley like i think it's supposed to be i don't even know if it's supposed to be snow because those uh, rocks don't look particularly snow covered god darn it i hit that guy i didn't even see them i was looking at the snow sand whatever that is i don't know yeah and the mountains aren't snow covered so i don't even know it, but it, this one's this one's a bummer. This area, and there's already the desert and the canyon, so those already get the job done. Like having a more. Oh, all oh right, game over because I got bumped. Okay. <laughs> huh? Um, I'd say, but a part of the valley, they do have character. These places, as a as a '90s racing game, this one passes muster. The 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 details are nice. I appreciate the option of having like a little bit more involved graphics versus classic mode, which is just really LARPing the 90s arcade experience. The Namco look. Very cute, very cute. Um, what I will absolutely give points is this whole gimmick of the like different stages of the night from like afternoon to like dusk to like night. And how that changes the look of the levels. Like, man, that Hanami level looked great at night with those lanterns lighting the place. And I kind of want to see what it looks like in the early evening. 
here. Let's see, we made it. Um, well, it kind of looks the same, but I still, I love that little glow of still the last rays of sunlight over there behind the mountains. This is a great vibe it's going for. So once again, with, with what Neko.Works is working with, they've gotten some great evocative design here, so... Yeah. And of course, the best part of the game, this soundtrack is, like, criminally good. The only shame is that the main theme seems to be rather uninspired. I'm not a fan of that one. Like, if this song hits you when you loaded up the game, I think... Because this one's a little more chill song, so it's, like, good to, like, kind of as, a, like, a warm-up to, like, opening up the game. I think this would have been a great choice. Even though it is still intense with that, like, beat in the background, so it's great for racing as well. Whereas the Red Rider that I was the first song on the list is absolutely fantastic rock and roll track. Again, like I said, some serious technos, old school, old school, like, uh, Sega rock and roll energy to it. Great for feeling like a hero as you blaze down these uh, race tracks. Uh, yeah. So, and the other songs, great apart from, and I guess this is such an acquired taste, I guess. Like, I, I maybe I'm just not feeling that main theme, but I think it's not as good as the other soundtrack. And it's a shame that that is in the starring role as the one that when you boot up the game. Every other song, some seriously good vibes going. Again, for that retro feel. Great, 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 great stuff. Cha. So, I'd say buy it for the soundtrack alone. I'm not even kidding. Like, I, that, that seems like a recommendation I would make. Come on, come on! No! Ooh, what a bummer. So close. Ah, oh, look at that. I already hit... I just hit the let's try again button. Even though I basically closed my review there. Um, I can't really say, like... Well, sure, I can do. Well, favorite protagonist is, of course, the guy we're racing with, the the, the Red Rider, because she's the only protagonist, and she's cool. She has a cool theme song, the one we're hearing right now. Uh, my favorite antagonist is the Pink Racer. I seem to hit them the most, either the pink or the yellow, but pink sticks in my mind the most for some reason. Screw the Pink Racer. <laughs> um... My favorite stage, well, Hanami, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm just a sucker for the Japan aesthetic. This canyon is actually a good, like, second place, because this actually you feel like you're in the American Southwest with those mesas in the background and the saguaro cacti hanging out everywhere. This is a great level, too. But Hanami, like, mm. again, if we're going for that Japan vibe of Japanese arcade games, then Hanami is hard to, like, go against. And the lighting effects on that level during the nighttime Hanami stages? Mmm. Good stuff. Ugh, pink racer! Ugh. Funniest moment, I guess, was in easy mode when I bumped into the other racer and they atomized, just because that was rather unexpected. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, there you go. I was able to do my, like, my favorites and my funniest like I do with every other review, even for this simple arcade game. So, yeah, I um, okay, that we're done. Gosh, sorry, I just wanted to see Hanami. Well, I guess we did already see it once, so... Yeah, we did, because I almost beat this le whole this course. It was, like, seconds off from hitting it. You know, okay, it was such a tiny little complaint, but I wish when the timer hit zero, I wish you still had, like, that zero second time to, like, roll forward. We could have gotten to that, um... Gotten to that, um... Final checkpoint if, if we did it. Um, unfortunately, yeah, like this one, because I, I feel like something like Sega Rally, if once the timer hits zero, you still have that mercy second to like run forward a little bit. I, I remember I've played Sega Rally and I've hit the checkpoint with exactly zero on the clock, just barely clearing it. So I, yeah, but this one's more brutal. This one's just like done. Zero seconds, game over, go home. Oh, instruction manual, cool. Here we go, here's the Red Rider. Alice. Oh. She was from Germany, huh? I guess I should have showed this real quickly. Inspired by the retro classics. Yeah, you know that. Before turns, move to the inner part of the curve. Yeah, I guess I was kind of like... <laughs> 
was kind of screwing around, not doing that, wasn't I? I was just kind of going to the outer... outer curve, hmm. When you're drifting, release the accelerate button for a fraction of a second to regain control, then press it again. Use the brake to avoid crashing on rivals or on the sharp turns. I was kind of doing that instinctively, wasn't I? Letting go when I was drifting and quickly recovering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Advanced hits. What could be advanced? Oh, cool. Points, scoring tips, setup instructions. Okay, stereoscopic 3D, whatever. Anime character sheet. Oh, more designs of the character. Very cool. Yeah, there was a basic sketch here. And then, like, a full, like, character reference. So there you go. If someone wants to draw this character, take a cap of this picture, I guess. The rivals? <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what they look like. More chibi. Well, that was cute. Soundtrack download. Oh god, okay. Oi, 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 no. That did exactly what I thought it did, and I shouldn't have pressed it. <laughs> Freaking launched the <laughs> launched the Steam page to buy the soundtrack. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that was enjoyable. Hey, good job again, Neko.works. This was a really fun racing game. Definitely got my money's worth here recording this uh, episode. -io. Uh yeah, so that's us done with Light Fairy Tale and Neko Dot works for the time being. Keep an eye open for when episode 3 releases, or possibly Super Knight Riders 2, the Nightening Ridening. Uh. But um, as always, it's a pleasure to see what this uh, this 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 crew does, and uh, look forward to some more in the future. But uh, next week we're gonna launch into something else. Yay! So. Keep your eyes peeled, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.